Uh, what happened here is Deadspin, this garbage magazine, <laughs> uh, said that the NFL needs to speak out against the Kansas City Chiefs fan, this young boy, uh, for his blackface and native headdress. And the best part is they took a lot of side shots, so you would just see the black. Yeah, so you wouldn't uh, even notice the red to see that he's wearing both the Chiefs colors. The so, article is written by Karen. <laughs> Car Car by Karen. Karen. She just respelled Jay it. Phillips. She's like, I'm not a Karen. Don't try and hide your name spelling, okay? I know you're a Karen. Yeah, you can't. It comes out in your writing. Yeah, you can't do the most Karen thing ever <laughs> yeah, and pretend you're not a Karen. Come on. <laughs> well, yeah, the, he's wearing a half red, half black face. Yeah. Which right there, it shows you that they're not even paying attention to the red face. They're trying to push an agenda uh -huh. so hard. Yeah. And let's my the thing that bothers me the most, you're doing this to a child, and I want to point out the fact that all right, the Kansas City Chiefs do have a, an agreement with Native American communities uh -huh. that's perfectly acceptable to use their likeness. It's totally okay. It's fine. Why would it be a problem? And also, like even in the past with football, like the Redskins, the Redskins was a level of warrior that you would achieve if you were the highest point of warrior. Mm. They're the ones that put like, idiots who decide to protest this... That don't understand. ...at all are the ones that put that out there saying that it's like, oh, you mean the red skin. It's like, no, you're a moron. Yeah. It's the same as the one who don't get that the Cleveland Indians was based on the fact that Native Americans, who were on the team originally, it was named for them because they were the first in Native American athletes, well, the, first Indian athletes ever in baseball. The design is after a, the Indian chief, isn't chief it? Chief Wahoo, yeah. You're looking at something that is so agenda-based that when you look at something like this, this is a moment where I think all of America has to look at something and go, okay, we've been tricked and they're running out of things to trick us with. When you're right. taking a child at a game and you're showing him turn sideways and sent calling it blackface, we all know it's not. You're insulting an entire community by saying that it is. Mm -hmm. Everybody should have to be able to step back and look at it and realize that this is nonsense. Like, we're not living in a time where this is at all acceptable. I, or We are, but we shouldn't be. Like, we should be past this level of trickery after what the last several years have given us. Yeah, I think that's... I, I do see, like, a more silver lining, pendulum swinging back, all the terms you want to use. But I think there is, like, a positive kind of awakening of people realizing how shitty this is. Because there's a ton of just normie people that don't have the time. Either they're working or whatever it is, they don't have the time to be in-depth with the cultural relevant stories that are happening or the way people are manipulating you. But I think on average, people are starting to go, really though? Like f four years ago, that article came out, it would have been a huge news, that kid would have got freaking expelled, he, all of his friends would have yelled at him or whatever. I don't think this is gonna go that far because people, like you were saying, I think they're waking up. Yeah, I think people are getting sick of it too. Yeah. I think it's just like, gotten to a point of no return where it's just like everybody's kind of realized like it it's just boring now yeah <laughs> yeah and you're it's like again you're gonna try this on me again literally when we this was in the show man i read it and i was like wait didn't we have this two weeks ago that was a different kid and i'm it's not gonna work again come on well and the idea that you're mass bullying a kid that's yeah, disgusting nothing to do with skin color nothing to do with anything else you're just mass bullying a kid mm -hmm. i don't care who it is where they're from that's completely wrong. You have no, I, I believe, even if you do have the right to take their picture in public, you have no right in my, in my eyes to take a picture of a child and post them like that. Like and, they're a villain. Yeah, like they're a villain. <laughs> and then cause that them to be threatened because there's so many stupid people out there who are going to look at that and believe it. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's the sad part. But I think enough people are waking up that this is going to start dying down because this is a perfect example of how they are just running out of fuel yeah. to flame this bullshit.